The Indian Space Agency, ISRO, is performing a crucial test as part of its Gaganyaan human spaceflight program. This test is very significant and is part of a series of flight tests that would ultimately lead to India's mission to send astronauts to space and bring them back safely. In this report, we on senior correspondent Siddharth MP explains all about the TVD-1 mission that's happening today, the 21st of October. Engineers and scientists always hope for the best, but they prepare for the worst. And what's the worst possible result for a spacefaring rocket? By all means, a mid-flight anomaly or explosion is the most tragic outcome. It would mean the loss of million-dollar rockets and the expensive satellites that are perched atop. So what do you do when sending astronauts to space? Is there a means of rescuing the astronauts from a mid-flight rocket mishap? That's exactly what the Indian Space Research Organization is testing. They're calling it the mission TVD-1. TV stands for Test Vehicle and D-1 stands for Demonstration 1. Test vehicle refers to the all-new mini rocket that ISRO has developed. It stands nearly 35 meters tall and weighs 44 tons. Perched atop the rocket is the crew module or the rounded capsule within which astronauts are meant to be seated. This time around, ISRO is flying the crew module that is exactly the shape and size of the actual one. As part of the test flight, this test vehicle will be launched at 8 a.m. today. 60 seconds into the flight, the rocket would reach an altitude of 11.7 kilometers. That's roughly the height at which passenger planes fly. At the time, the rocket would be flying approximately at 1.2 times the speed of sound, or Mach 1.2. That's almost 1,481 kilometers per hour. The rocket is pre-programmed to shut down at that moment. It is stimulating a failure. Immediately, the crew escape system and the crew capsule perched atop the rocket will fire their own engines and eject themselves far and high above the test vehicle. 90 seconds into the flight, the pointed of the rocket and the crew capsule will separate and begin free fall into the sea. In a few seconds, the crew capsule alone will deploy a series of parachutes to slow itself down and gradually splash down at sea. From liftoff to splashdown, it will take about nine minutes. Thereafter, the crew module will be recovered by Indian Navy ships. In the case of a car crash, it is the airbags that are playing the crucial role of saving the passengers on board. Likewise, if there's a major catastrophe on board a fighter aircraft, it is the ejection seat that the pilot will be using to actually bail himself or herself out of the aircraft and to safety. Likewise, when it comes to rockets, when you're ferrying astronauts to space, the most crucial system to master is something known as a crew escape system. It's simply put an ejection mechanism. If in case there is a major catastrophe in the rocket or an explosion happening, the crew will be able to bail themselves out, not individually, but collectively through the crew module. That crew module can get bailed out and then it will come and safely splash down in the sea nearby using parachutes. This is the system that ISRO is testing and this is a crucial system that space agencies worldwide possess provided they have the capability to send astronauts to space. That is why ISRO is doing this as part of its Gaganyan astronaut program. From Sri Harikota, Siddharth MP, We On, World Is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.